Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watch they're so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. Good evening, Memorial High School's class of 2020, and good evening to all of our Tiger friends and family that are tuning in to watch Memorial High School's first ever virtual graduation. As principal of Memorial High School, I am only one-sixth of the administration. I'd like to quickly acknowledge Mr. Howard Schroeder, Mr. Robert Rapparelli, Mr. Charlie Kajewski, Ms. Tara Giacumbo, and Ms. Amada Sanborn. It is an honor and a privilege to welcome you as we celebrate one of the many achievements of the class of 2020. Our graduating class is filled with highly decorated and accomplished young adults. This is a group of students who saw Memorial High School become a future-ready, high-performing school. This is a group who was fully immersed in our STEAM Academy from its infancy to the program that it has now become. This is a group of young people who have presented in front of educational professionals at state conferences such as school boards and textbooks. The class of 2020 brought us several county championships, a school-wide concert through High School Nation, and they reminded the entire community that reading is lit. These, am these amazing young men and women did not, however, get there on their own. Memorial, like West New York, is truly a village, a family that watches over and takes care of its own. With that in mind, I would like to quickly acknowledge and give thanks to several groups that have contributed to the forging of the Class of 2020. I would like to first thank our parents and guardians. Education, coupled with the foundation of which our students are built upon, starts at home. This milestone is as much about you as it is our students. Secondly, I would like to give a huge thanks to our teachers at Memorial High School and our teachers throughout the West New York School District for helping nurture each of you along your journey in the West New York School System. I would like to acknowledge a few staff members who will be moving on from Memorial High School and into retirement. Ms. Constance LaCroche, Ms. Miriam Untorio, and Ms. Laurie Anastasi. Thank you. Thank you to our central office administration, led by Superintendent of Schools, Ms. Clara Herrera. Thank you to Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum, Ms. Stacy Oliveira. Assistant Superintendent of Instruction, Mr. George Acosta. Assistant Superintendent of Administrative Services, Mr. Scott Walrat. Assistant Superintendent of Special Education, Mr. Christian Cardenas. School Business Administrator, Mr. Dean Austin. Administrator, Administrative Supervisor of Educational Systems and Program, Program Data Assessment, Mr. Lorenzo Correa. Thank you. Thank you to our District Supervisors. Supervisor of Science, Francisco Barkman. Physical Education, John Ferraccio. Language Arts, Jose Jimenez. World Language and Bilingual ESL Education, Maddie McKelly. Math. Vincent Parisi, Social Studies and Visual Arts, Ms. Sandra Rivas, 
Special Education, Yolesi Yanez, and Director of Special Education, Ms. Lynn Crawford. Thank you to our board members, led by Board President Adam Parkinson, Trustee Jonathan Castaneda, Trustee Adrian Sirius, Trustee Maite Fernandez, Trustee Damaris Gonzalez, Trustee Joseph Rodriguez, Trustee Marielka Diaz, and Vice President David Morell. Thank you to Town Hall, led by Mayor Gabriel Rodriguez, Commissioner Margarita Guzman, Commissioner Cosmo Cirillo, Commissioner Victor Barrero, and Commissioner Yolesi Yanez. And a very special thank you to our West New York Police Department, who take the time to build trusting relationships with our staff and students in making sure that we are safe. That now brings us to the rest of our program. Please enjoy. It is truly an honor to be able to address the Memorial High School graduating class of 2020 during these challenging times. In my 40 years in education, this has been by far the most unusual year. Your senior experience was unfairly cut short because of a virus that has shown no compassion in our community, our state, our country, or our world. You have been forced to adjust your learning abilities to a completely virtual and remote model. And even with all these obstacles, you have persisted by proving that Memorial High School is more than just a building. It is a tiger family that overcomes all types of adversity and we do not quit. I could be prouder of each and every one of you. When I first became your superintendent of schools, I entered with a clear vision of our district for STEAM education by giving people the necessary tools to succeed. Today, we have never needed these skills more. I am proud to be speaking to a class of future engineers, scientists, and mathematicians who will use these opportunities offered through Memorial High School to advance their educational goals. The students of this year's graduating class are scholars who will be going on to great schools, including Brown University, Marquette University, St. Peter's University, Stevens Institute of Technology, and Rutgers University, to name a few. We have students who have been recognized by the New Jersey Performing Arts Center and students who presented before the New Jersey School Boards Association. You have shown that you are more than just students, but the true activists of our community. When COVID-19 hit our town, you always remain grateful to those fighting on the front lines. Many of you joined the town's We Are West New York campaign and recognize the hardworking essential workers who have been so brave throughout this pandemic. I am not only inspired by this graduating class, but I'm also confident of the future of our world with leaders like each and every one of you. Along with our exceptional educators, you are the reason why Memorial High School is a future ready school and you are the reason why West New York School District is a high performing school district in the state of New Jersey. Growing up as a student in this town, I can assure you that you have received a quality education in our schools. I am proud to gra have graduated from Memorial High School along with other leaders, many of your teachers, administrators, board trustees, neighbors, friends, and family members. Tonight, you, the graduating seniors of Memorial High School, join this group of alumni. Your teachers and administrators have worked so hard this year to ensure that you have been given the necessary tools to succeed. The professionals at Memorial High School who have guided you along your path to success deserve to be commended. I can assure you that leaders in education are teaching you every day. And while they're not in your classrooms with you, your teachers have never left your side. I commend our entire staff throughout the West New York School District. They have always kept your education as their top priority. Your school administration, under the great leadership of Principal Oscar Guerrero, have also been critical to getting you here, and I applaud them for their dedication to this graduating class. 
Graduating from Memorial High School is a tremendous accomplishment, but it could not have been possible without support from your parents and guardians who have been fundamental in your learning, especially during these difficult times. They understand that education is the great equalizer, and I commend you all for making education your top priority. Many members of your family have taken on new roles since March, and I know it has not been easy. We are incredibly grateful for their efforts, and I ask you to join us in thanking them for their constant support. Graduarse de secundaria es un gran logro personal que no habría sido posible sin el apoyo de sus familias, tutores y profesionado, que han sido fundamentales en sus esfuerzos académicos, especialmente durante estos tiempos difíciles. Les felicito a todos por entender que la educación, la educación como el gran ecualizador, haciendo de ella su principal prioridad. Muchos miembros de sus familias han asumido nuevos roles desde marzo y sé que no ha sido fácil. Estamos increíblemente agradecidos por sus esfuerzos y les pido que se unan a nosotros para agradecerles su constante apoyo. As you reflect on your final moments of senior year, I would like to reiterate to you that you are surrounded by people who care about you and want you to succeed. I hope that you remember this special moment when you're stressed and overwhelmed with college work. I hope that you remember how resilient you were when you faced this unimaginable hardship. I hope that you remember the time you embraced the true strength of a tiger, and I hope you remember the time you earned your tiger stripes and overcame the hardest challenge of you ever faced. I hope you remember your making history today. Thank you. Congratulations to the incomparable class of 2020. Hello to the class of 2020. Mayor Gabriel Rodriguez here to personally congratulate all of you and your families for reaching this important milestone in your life and under such trying times at that. Felicidades a la clase de 2020 por lograr esta meta tan importante y bajo estos tiempos tan complicados. You know, quite often in commencement speeches all over the nation, you will hear phrases such as, now you will be entering the real world. You're stepping into the real world. Well, class of 2020, the fact that you have graduated under such difficult circumstances is absolutely the clearest proof that you are living in the real world, the realist, to be frank. And what you have accomplished in graduating today is not to be overlooked for one second. It is not to be minimized. And while yes, we may be celebrating commencement remotely, because of what you've accomplished, makes it all the more special. And so while you embark on this new chapter, always remember it is the journey and not the destination that will always define who and what you are in this life. On your journey, always ask yourself what you want in the future. Pregúntate lo que quieres para tu vida, para tu familia, para tu futuro. Ladies and gentlemen, from great adversity comes greater strength. And so let me say, I could not be prouder of all of you for being strong and rising to the occasion, completing your task and reaching this important educational goal. So graduates, be proud. Be proud, graduates. Say it with me. Be proud of what you have accomplished in graduating today. Thank yourself, thank your teachers, your coaches, your counselors, your mentors, and most of all, your family. Dale las gracias a todo lo que te ayudaron llegar aquí hoy para que este triunfo, esta celebración es de ellos también. Enjoy this moment, cherish it, savor it, and rightfully so because you deserve it. Graduates, please stay safe. God bless you, que Dios lo bendiga, and once again, congratulations to the class of 2020. Good evening, class of 2020, and fellow family and friends. 
My name is Emmanuel Zapata, and I'm honored to be able to speak in front of Memorial High School's graduating class of 2020 as your salutatory. Before I start, I would like to give my thanks to all the people that have supported me throughout this journey. I would like to thank the mighty man above for always bringing out the best in me. I want to thank my family for being my support system and for always motivating me to do better in whatever task comes my way. I want to thank them for immigrating to this country and giving me a chance for a better life, no matter the hardships and sacrifices they had to make. Next, I would like to thank my friends and classmates who have always been beside me through thick and thin, through late night studying, through hilarious talks in the cafeteria, and even vibing at a High School Nations concert for this school year. I would also like to thank Mr. Guerrero and Mr. Walrath, who in these four years of our lives have made our community stronger than ever. These leaders always had the safety of our students in mind, even if those restrictions on IDs and sweaters were pretty tough. Their main priority is their students, and they did a heck of a job ensuring that our experiences at Memorial were positive. I appreciate everything you have done these past few years to make our high school experience better than ever. I would not trade Mr. Guerrero's daily good mornings for anything in the world. I would like to thank all the Memorial High School staff who are the ones who truly helped us maintain this tight-knit community of ours. From helping us pick our classes for next year, to organizing certain events for a school, to even helping us open up when times are rough, these staff members are truly the foundation for this beloved community. Lastly, I would like to thank our beloved teachers. I originally wanted to shout out all of my teachers, which are a lot, but I realized it would take up to 10 minutes just to name them all. Just to this, I just wanted to say a little something about our unsung heroes here at Memorial. Believe it or not, being a teacher is one of the most important jobs on the planet. Having to teach concepts to students who may have different learning styles and interests is no easy task. However, teachers try their best to make the learning environment as fun and comfortable as possible, no matter what. From my experience here at Memorial, teachers truly do care about the education of their students and will go to unknown depths to help their students understand what they are learning, even if some students don't reciprocate that energy. Some teachers also have the power to dig deep into students' minds and help bring out the gift they were meant to show to the world. Due to all this, I want to give a big thanks again to all the teachers who are paying it forward to the next generation. Now that I am finished thanking everyone I needed to thank, I would, like to take, I would like to take a moment to congratulate every single student attending this graduation, including myself. I want all of us to appreciate what we just accomplished and that our hard work is not unnoticed. And it takes a lot of effort and dedication to graduate and move on to the next chapter in our lives. This is a pivotal moment where we transition from being the reckless teenagers we once were to emerging adults, responsible for making decisions that are going to impact our lives, perhaps forever. It seemed like it was just yesterday that we were entering the main building as freshmen, and the journey we were about to take to get to this day would seem like an eternity. And now here we are, graduating, and how what once seemed like a long time, four years, had passed by too quickly. All the memories made, to the many mishaps that occurred during these four years, truly made the high school experience for better or for worse. However, the graduating class of 2020 will forever have something that will define it, and hopefully no other future graduating graduating class will have to encounter. Let's go back a few months. The day was March 13th. If you don't remember, although I have a feeling that all of, all of us do remember, this was unfortunately our last day of actual, be, of actual school due to the coronavirus pandemic. The pandemic pre prevented us from doing something we take for granted, saying goodbye to our friends, our teachers, and even to the lovely lunch ladies who could sometimes give us an extra serving or two. This was a shock to all of us. It felt, as if, it felt as if society was flipping the roles and was playing a senior prank on us. I remember going on social media and seeing all these memes of virtual graduations on Zoom and thinking it was just another joke. Many of us thought this was going to be over in a couple, in a couple of weeks and life would return to normal. Unfortunately, this was not the case. All of our senior events were canceled, no prom, no senior trip, no exemption from finals when the rest of the underclassmen have to take them. It felt as if these high schools Right, rites of passage, events that we had to look forward to and heard about for years, were, no, were now no longer a part of our future. Even though all this happened to us, and all in a matter of months, we have not let it define who we are. We continue to, help, to hold our heads up high and fight so that we will continue, so that we will come out of the situation stronger. We didn't let virtual classes prevent us from moving forward with our lives, and, and we kept our 2020 vision intact. 
We did not let this, this, this virus dictate who we were. As a matter of fact, our class was so strong and resilient that we are now the standard by which every other class will be compared to. To be honest, I don't know if other classes would have dealt with this pandemic any better than us. You wanna know why? It's because the class of 2020 is the best class in the morning's history, period, end of story. Despite everything that happened to us, we still fought our way to the top and we will continue moving forward, not stopping for anything, even a global pandemic. The situation was just one obstacle that we had to overcome and there will be many more that, will, that we will encounter throughout our lives. And lessons that we learned in the last several months will have prepared us for anything, for any obstacle we might face in the future. I am certain of the fact that all of us can achieve greatness in the future, no matter what hits us next. Now that we have gone over all the marvelous and incredibly unique things we have experienced in high school, it is time to prepare for the future. To be able to, to, be able to help you prepare for the future, I have decided to use Mr. Richelli's physics class as inspiration to explain a concept. Mr. Richelli, if you're out there, great. Job. Imagine there were two pilots, one from a certain airline and one from another. They were both flying nonstop from JFK Airport to Munich, Germany. They both departed at the same time, and they both expected the same weather conditions, or so they thought. One pilot saw on the daily weather report that there was going to be a harsh crosswind going south that would eventually push the plane off course and not reach their desired destination. The other pilot did not see this critical piece of information, making him unaware that he was not going to land in Munich, but somewhere else. To be able to combat this crosswind, the pilot who was aware of what was going on decided to go a different route, one that was more northern. He decided to go as high as possible to be able to counteract the crosswind and eventually reach Munich. The other, decided, the other pilot decided to ignore this and, and, then, and ended up landing in Tunis, Tunisia. You all might be asking, why would he take time to tell us the story? What, like why? Well, in fact, this concept of the crosswind made me rethink how society shapes people's lives. According to one of my favorite YouTubers, Prince Ye, you treat a person for how they are, you make them worse. You treat a person for how they could be, you promote them to what they should be. If you live life being realistic, you wind up being pessimistic. But if you live life shooting, shooting for your dreams, trying to do the impossible, well, ladies and gentlemen, you will wind up exactly where you need to be. At first, I felt that I had to do certain things before a certain age to feel fulfillment due to, what, due to what others have told me. Their experiences have made me rethink what life truly is. For example, people expect you to have a stable job at 22. They expect you to marry at 27. They expect you to have kids at the age of 30. They expect you to buy a home at 32. This is all blasphemy, but it's a harsh reality that we have to live in. One other thing I want to bring up is how society portrays people for doing certain things. On social media, we see people portray themselves as perfect beings. However, we fail to realize that their, that their unreal pictures have been modified in some way, somehow, with probably a filter for Photoshop. Unfortunately, people have been influenced to pursue this type of lifestyle and never realize that they are enough. One thing I also want to remind you is the fact that perfection does not exist. Perfect means to make something completely free from faults or defects. No human being on earth is like this. We all have our own differences, and that is what makes us beautiful and unique. If you don't believe me, look how people differentiate fake and real diamonds. According to Prince Ian, again, my favorite YouTuber, fake diamonds appear to be perfect, but real diamonds have flaws. My friends, please do not be fooled by society's expectations. I just want you to know that this is not the way you should all be living. You should all fight for your happiness and the way you love no matter how long it takes. You should enjoy the process of becoming the person that you are becoming. Always live life as if it was your last day on this beautiful planet of ours, and always remember that. that remember that we are the ones who determine how we live our lives and not someone else. In other words, we are individuals and not a statistic. Thank you very much for allowing me to express myself on this stage. I wish you the very best in your future endeavors, no matter what it may be, much love. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, administration, faculty, parents, siblings, pets, and most importantly, our 2020 Memorial High School seniors. My name is Haley Rose Flores, and I am thrilled to be able to join you tonight in the comfort of your homes, and would like to thank you all for taking part in this unprecedented and unconventional celebration of the class of 2020. I know that four years ago, when we walked into Memorial, we envisioned ourselves walking onto Kobe Yellow Field with our friends alongside us, decorating in our caps and gowns, and waiting to hear the roaring applause from our family members 
and teachers as they call out our names. Never in a million years could we have imagined being in the situation we are in now. However, in no way should these circumstances stop you and your family from commemorating your achievements. This is a major accomplishment in our lives. Not only the completion of our four years in high school, but our 13 years of education. Do not discount this great milestone. Just because we are not together in person, make it special. With that being said, I hope that all of you are surrounded by your family members, dressed in your caps and gowns, and wear it with tiger pride, because every single one of you deserves to. During these times, I think we've all come to realize how essential human interaction is and how we've all at one point taken for granted the simple action of going out to the grocery store or meeting up with friends at Dunkin'. At this time, I would like to thank all the essential workers who are risking their lives every day to provide necessary services to us and to those seniors who still go to work every day, which I know some of you out there do, thank you. Not only do we humans need each other to survive, but we need each other to flourish. Take a second to reflect on all you've done in terms of academics, athletics, extracurriculars, and personal goals. Now, think about the people who have helped you along the way. The coach who stayed 30 minutes after practice to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. The teacher who gave you extra help and gave you a second chance on that math test. The guidance counselor who welcomed you into their office with open arms to discuss future plans. And even that friend who, was, who listened to you during rough times. No matter how trivial you might think that interaction was, they have played an important role in getting you where you are today, a high school graduate. As Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor once said, no one succeeds alone. I know for sure I would not have survived my four years of high school if it wasn't for my dad preparing me a slice of naan bread and a fresh cup of hot chocolate every day to get me through a sleepless night of homework and study. And if it wasn't for my mom waking me up every single morning, I would have slept right through my alarms. Be thankful. Even though you can't see them in person, reach out to your teachers, guidance counselors, coaches, friends, family, anyone, and express your gratitude. One of the greatest gifts you can give someone is thanking them for being a part of your life. At the beginning of high school, we are told that our four years will go by in a blink of an eye. Now I realize how true that statement is. So let's recap on some moments during our four years at Memorial, starting with our freshman year. We were babies of the school, getting used to waking up earlier than in middle school, with more periods in the day, and occasionally, occasionally being told about the secret pool on the fourth floor. And let's not forget about the field day that never happened. I'm sure plenty of you still have that t-shirt with the orange paw print on it somewhere in your closet. Then came sophomore year, where we remained babies of the school. Thank you, Freshman Academy. But hey, one less grade in the building theoretically means more space in the hallways. But let's be real. It didn't feel any different going through the annex. Now junior year, we get a taste of upperclassmen privileges. And you know what that means, sitting on the bleachers during pep rallies and cherish those moments from the trip to the Pocono Valley Resort because it's not every day you get to zip line 900 feet out of the trees over a 40 acre lake and swim in two Olympic sized heated pools. And at last, senior year, the year of all years. We were able to experience our first winter pep rally, have a blast at High School Nation and witness a rigged vote with that 13 person friend group at Senior Awards. I'm just joking, not really. <laughs> Even though our time at Memorial was cut short, we can't forget about all the amazing memories we made with one another. You might be asking, so now what? Well, life. It is time for all of us to embark on our next journey. This ceremony just is just the beginning of a whole new adventure of not just any life, but a life that is solely your own. The future has so much in store.
the people we will encounter, and the places we will explore, the people we will, we will form bonds with, and the families we will start. Let us never forget to make our dreams a reality. Come to strive to reach your form of success, whatever it may be. We must not forget to keep moving forward each and every day. Congratulations to all of those who have enrolled at a university, a vocational school, or the military. And to those who have other plans, I wish you the best of luck. Do what makes you happy and be you because this is your life. Be the best version of yourself you can be. Our class is full of talented, creative, and intelligent individuals. It is unbelievable. Become the person you have always wanted to become and work hard for what you really want. Whatever path you decide to take, make yourself proud. I want to express my gratitude for Superintendent Herrera, the Board of Education, Principal Guerrero, and all the Vice Principals for making this possible today. And we can't forget about Mr. Walrath for being there for our first three years. Most importantly, I want to thank Ms. Flawbelt and Ms. Wolf for being alongside us since freshman year. You have done so much for us with fundraisers, events, dress down days, and we want you two to know that we appreciate it all. To my teachers, administration of the West New York Board of Education, faculty of Memorial High School, my incredibly supportive family and parents, and the seniors. You have all shaped me into the woman I am today, and I will forever be great, grateful for that. Class of 2020, it has truly been an honor speaking to you tonight and being with all of you for the past four years and more. Although this is maybe not the graduation we had in mind, I am celebrating with each and every one of you while we are together at home. I personally have had one unforgettable time at Memorial, and I'm going to miss all the wonderful teachers and friends I've met along the way. I truly wish you all the best in whichever direction you decide to head in life. And it has been my privilege to address our class, the incredibly strong class of 2020. And remember, be thankful, be humble, and be you. Thank you. I want to share a message with you all about circumstances and character. Ten months ago, this is not where I pictured myself. As a graduate of Memorial High School turned first year principal, I did not imagine that I would be delivering my first ever commencement speech from an empty auditorium speaking into a camera manned by Mr. Pollins. The way I dreamt it, we were destined to have commencement on a beautiful evening, Friday, June 19th, since in my dream, there were never any snow days. All 421 seniors would be dressed in cap and gown because in my dreams, the graduation rate is always 100%. The sad and unfortunate reality is that things never play out the way we envisioned them. COVID-19 has rocked our community and our country over the last few months. All of a sudden, our circumstances had changed significantly and our way of life is unrecognizable. The cold truth is that often, our circumstances are out of our control. Yes, we can try as hard as we can to put ourselves in good situations, but ultimately, there will be conditions and factors that we never see coming. For the class of 2020, the past few months, have been some of the most challenging conditions that a graduating senior has had to face in the history of our school. You had to deal with the cancellation of school events and celebrations. You had to go weeks without seeing some of your closest friends on a daily basis. You had to care for sick family members, and worst of all, some of you had to deal with the loss of loved ones due to this epidemic. To quote Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. If there is anything positive that we can take away from your experience these past few months, it is that in your moments of great challenge and controversy, your true character has been revealed. 
You have demonstrated a level of fortitude and resiliency that some spend a lifetime searching for. We have seen an, ex an, a, an explosion of creativity and solidarity that makes me so proud to call myself your principal. People are not born naturally tough. Your experiences and how you respond to them are what will strengthen you over time to take on life's greatest challenges. Although I should not be surprised, we are a community of new, first, second, and third generation immigrants. For generations, we have had to overcome insurmountable odds to create opportunities and a better life for ourselves and our loved ones. This takes sacrifice, this takes commitment, this takes grit, this takes happily welcoming circumstances and embracing challenging situations with the simple truth is that you will be better for it. The most recent events are just an, another example of what you are capable of. We are fighters and we come from fighters. Like most things, this will pass, but the character that you have developed and the measure of who you are now will catapult you to life's greatest heights. On behalf of the Memorial High School staff and administration, we are proud of the young men and women that you have become. Please understand that you are now a member of a special family of former Tigers. We are excited to bear witness to all of your future achievements. Thank you. And now, Superintendent Herrera and the West New York Board of Education, it is with great pleasure that I inform you that the young men and women of the class of 2020 have met all of the graduation requirements set forth by the New Jersey Department of Education and the West New York Board of Education. I present to you Memorial High School's Class of 2020. Hanin Luai Abdallah. Mahmoud Jamal Abdel Jawad. Mohammed Imad Abu Siyam. Argelis Rafael Adamas. Jason Ismael Aguilar. Edgar Rolando Aguilar Romero. Maria Celeste Aguilera. Kimberly Tiffany Aguirre. Christopher Alejo. Jocelyn Alejo. Camila Alfonso. Alex Javier Alobuela. Rosa Alonso. Diana Elizabeth Alvarado. Jaslyn Alvarenga. Alia Anesha Alvarez. Genesis Rosario Alvarez. Melissa De La Caridad Alvarez. Valentina Dianara Alvarez. Ashley Magali Amador. Diana Amador. Issa Marie Amarante. Angie Geraldine Amaya. Carlos Ernesto Amaya. Martin Alexander Amaya. Diego Hernani Adrade. Sylvia Danielle Aparicio Colindres. 
Brianna Tammy Aramayo. Suseli Elizabeth Arevalo. Kevin Alexander Argueta. Carlos Snyder Arias. Luis Jose Arias. Jasmine Lizette Ariaza. Presley Ariaza. Anissa Crystal Arteaga. Maynor Alexia Valos. Natalia Del Carmen Avelar. Kevin Manuel Avila. Leslie Damaris Avila. Elaine Avilas. Skyler Avilas. Eduardo Francisco Baez. Milena Del Rosario Baidal. Maximus Bermudez. Edmili Sara Binet. Nicole Boado. Hernan Enrique Bolano. Kenny Joel Bourbon. Lucia Burdino. Carlos Luis Cabanilla. Gabriela Alejandra Cabrera. Oscar Cabrera. Vanessa Paulette Caicedo. Brian Joel Calderon. Iris Annabel Callejas. Edwin Alexander Caniz Garcia. Giovanni Cantero. Gabriel Capote. Giovanni Carino. Alexander Ariel Carpio. Fabian Carreto. Charlie Castellanos. Paola Teresa Castellanos. Liliana Castillo. Jimmy Benjamin Castillo. New Yorker Brigitte Castro. Vladimir Josue Castro. Josari Irene Castro. Jamie Elizabeth Catedral. Juan Manuel Cazares. Nicole Cerezo. Danny Alexander Chavez. Tina Feng Chen. Josefina Veronica Chicas. David Ari Cirillo. Justin Ubaldo Correa. Alexander George Cornejo. 
Gabriela Alexandra Cruz. Justin Arturo Cruz. Katina Martha Cruz. Mariana Cruz. Natalie Cruz. Elias Joaquin Cuenca. Agustina Nicole Cueto. Angel David De Jesus. Samantha De La Cruz. Diana Evelyn De La Merced. Jasmine Sarai De Leon. Joseph De Los Santos. Brian Alexander Del Cid. Raul Alfonso Delgado. Angelica Faith Diaz. Ariel Antonio Diaz Flores. Stephanie Dominguez. Caesar David Duverge. Maritza Anahi Escamilla. Edgar Antonio Escobar. Carmis Nicole Estevez. Andrea Maria Estrada. Irene Giovanni Estrada. Brian Jose Estrada Quevedo. Alvin Fabian. Mahirli Maria Feliciano. Ana Mary Jaritza Fernandez. Joa Fernandez. Nela Are Fernandez. Daniela Ferreira. Emil Daniel Figueroa. Daisy Gianel Flores. Haley Rose Flores. Rocio Alexandra Flores. Veronica Flores. Yesenia Flores Rosas. Eileen Franco. George Fuentes. Hector Reynaldo Fuentes. Kelly Daisel Fuentes. Christian Galagarza. Rafael Galarza. Walter Javier Galeas. Claudia Yvonne Galindo. Michael Danielson Camero Borja. Rosa Beatriz Gomez. Jeffrey Jonathan Garay. Alexia Mariela Garcia. Astrid Milady Garcia. Christian Johan Garcia. 
Heather Garcia. Jasmine Alicia Garcia. Julio Esteban Garcia. Miguel Angel Garcia. Renzo Stefano Garcia. Tania Sabrina Garcia. Marco Antonio Garcia Clemente. Berkeley Janice. Giovanna Janice. Ivana Marie Germosen. Brandon Eric Gomez. Riaz Baltimore Gomez. Andres Luz Gonzalez. Enrique Gonzalez. Ingrid Zare Gonzalez. Jacob Yamani Gonzalez. Judith Gloricel Gonzalez. Kevin Gonzalez. Liz Katie Gonzalez. Marcelo Gonzalez. Matthew Alexis Gonzalez. Natalie Esperanza Gonzalez. Stephen Gonzalez. Yanni Gonzalez. Crystal Alexis Gotai. Odir Alcides Granados. Ashley Corina Guardado. Sasha Lazara Guareno. Audrey Paulina Guavara. Jacqueline Alexandra Gutierrez. Mina Alexa Gutierrez. Jorge Luis Echevarria. William Alfredo Enriquez. Derek Dahlia Hernandez. Edward Hernandez. Emily Hernandez. Heidi Sarangi Hernandez. Jason Stephen Hernandez. Kelly Hernandez. Peter Hernandez. Alexander Herrera. Nicole Alexis Herrera. Maria Teresa Hidalgo. Rachel Corelli Huacon. Juan Pablo Iriarte. Samuel Harris. Ashley Ann Jimenez. Giselle Jimenez. Isneli Jimenez. Junior Julka.
Rosa Emilia Jurado. Rakshan Ahmed Khan. Muhammad Abdallah Kunate. Constanza Belen Lara. Jose Andres Lara. Danaira Lara Baldera. Miguel Antonio Lazo. Esvin Esgardo Lemus. Brandon Francisco Leon. Ryan David Leon. Alvin Liu. Regina Lizama. Christian Felipe Loaiza. Nicole Londono. Blanca Estelle Lul. Christian Edward Lopez. Kenia Ivania Lopez. Elizabeth Carolina Lopez. Lindsay Lopez Nunez. Starlin Jose Luciano. Justin Luna. Veronica Lisette Luna. Roberto Andres Machin. Angelica Gabriela Macias. Mario Esther Macias. Giselle Mahano. Florinda Rosario Manuel. Sofia Marcela Maradiaga. Sidlali Marcial. Diani Hesana Marin. Eric Stewart Marroquin. Alejandra Gabriela Martinez. Azucena Marari Martinez. David Ernesto Martinez. Jeffrey Alexander Martinez. Mario Fernando Martinez. Tomas Alberto Martinez. Uriel Martinez. Beverly Mayor Lares. Gihani Michelle Melendez. Matthew Anthony Mendez. Joshua Adrian Mendoza. Johan Manuel Mercedes. Catherine Gabriela Marino. Sandra Meza. Luis Benjamin Michaca Arellano. Brando Michua. Yasmeri Millian. Odali Enrique Minaya. William Molina.
Yves Montplaisir Pierre. Arvin Francisco Montesinos. Wilfred Montufar. Sena Olivia Moore. Ashley Emily Morales. Henry Stephen Morales. Joseph Morales. William Morales. Johanna Jacqueline Morinchel. Michelle Marlene Morel. Miguel Orlando Mascara. Ramon Andres Moya. Christian Munguia. Kelly Lisette Munguia. Kayla Briano Murillo. Lydia Teresa Navarrete. Francesca Juliet Navarro. Christopher Alexandra Negron. Maria Leticia Nin. Melanie Michelle Norona Beltran. Scarlett Maria Novas. Daniel Nuncio Morales. Didier Nuncio Morales. Joel Samuel Oberg. John Franco Ojeda. Marco Antonio Oliva. Samuel Joel Oliveras. Israel Olivos. Jamie Ortez. Michelle Linda Ortez. Axel Gabriel Ortiz. Brandon Ortiz. Jennifer Carolina Ortiz. Manuela Ortiz Marin. Marilesi Altagracia Pacheco. Tiffany Padilla. Guillermo Prospero Palencia. Odalis Jr. Paredes. Catherine Pedraja. Ana Carla Pena. Denise Pena. Jocelyn Pena Garcia. Brendan Paul Peraza. Daniela Andrea Perdomo. Arnold Josue Perdomo Franco. Andy Jose Perez. Brianna Stephanie Perez. Emily Perez. Eric Perez. Jessica Perez. 
Kaylee Joanna Perez. Johanny Perez Sanchez. Nahisa Melissa Piguave. Estefany Del Carmen Pineda. Marina Stefania Pineda. Kelly Paola Pleites. Waziris Marcel Polanco. Cesar Gustavo Portillo. Javier Kevin Quezada. Leslie Gabriela Rabe Campoverde. Jennifer Miley Ramirez. Joanna I. Ramirez. Juan Jesus Ramirez. Kiri Anaisa Ramirez. Benjamin Ramos. Jairo Joel Ramos. Joanna Liseth Rangel. Diego Ambriel Restrepo. Samantha Emily Restrepo. Alyssa Reyes. Elvis Joel Reyes. Jose Javier Reyes. Sebastian Reyes. Bob Alexander Reyes Jaramillo. Luis Alonso Rivas. Destiny Nicole Rivera. Diego Balmor Rivera. Ivan Alexander Rivera. Shadiamond Rivera. Thelma Dinelli Rivera. Mari Belis Robles. Marvin Noel Rodriguez. Michael Marlon Rodriguez. Mariela Rodriguez Guadamud. Juan Daniel Rojas. Melanie Magali Rojas. Kevin Alexis Romano. Denise Romero. Joanna Leticia Romero. Carla Giovanna Romero. Esmeralda Romero Flores. Aaron Patricio Romo. Lisbeth Rosario Berdier. Elvis Alexander Rosas. Michelle Rosato. Andre Gregory Rose. John Din Rosenberg. Maria Veronica Ruiz. Adrian Christopher Salazar. Diana Stephanie Salazar. 
Maria Ophelia Salazar Morales, Matthew Salazar Nieto, Angie Salgado, Carolyn Leonir Sanchez, Celeste Nicole Sanchez, Cesar Alejandro Sanchez, Christopher Matthew Sanchez, Jonathan Gabriel Sanchez, Kelvin Alexander Sanchez, Margie Sanchez, Marlon Sanchez, Olivia Rose Sanchez, Vanessa Elizabeth Sanchez, Miguel Jose Santa Maria. Ariana Elizabeth Santos Marilyn Stephanie Sakike Hunter James Sauerborn Crystal Sailor Leandro I. Sellier Daniel Wesley Sherman Valeria Leticia Sierra Victor Luis Sierra Edwin Sylvester Romero Francisco Angel Somariba Castellano Emerson Sorto Lila Angelica Sorto Ashley Michelle Soto Kareem Gianni Strawn America Suarez Sebastian Alberto Suazo Thais Suazo Sadeldin Mohamed Subech Natalie Andrea Sukinagua Christian Javier Tabora Jessica Margarita Tahai Elizabeth Michelle Tapia Aaron Suresh Thakur Noel Then Chastity Lourdes Teneo Liseth Johanna Tixi Sarah Tobon Alan Toledano J. D. Tolentino Yuri Toribio Samuel Anthony Torres Chiara Trinidad Ricardo René Tuero Concepcion Nadialis Belenires Tutaban Jason Alexander Ulua Portillo Ingrid Angelica Umanzor 
Cindy Maciel Valdez. Lisbeth Alexandra Valverde. Charlie Jonathan Varela. Vanessa Varela. Kiara Vargas. Nicole Vargas Echeverri. Anna Jacqueline Vasquez. Maria Chris Merling Vasquez. Mari Cruz Vasquez. Isaac Vasquez. Alisa Michelle Vega. Daisy Fernanda Vera. Christopher Velasquez. Julian Valles. Alexandro Velez Munoz. Jonathan Mauricio Ventura. Leslie Rossi Ventura. Rachel Antonella Verdugo. Jasmine Villa. Janine Amy Villa. Nia Fernanda Villasis. Elizabeth Ann Villanueva. Joshua Omar Villanueva. Sabrina Emilia Villanueva. Sarah Jude Villanueva. Jessica Maria Villar. Catherine Paola Villatoro. New York Arley Williams. Emmanuel Zapata. Andrew Zuluaga. Okay, now that you have officially graduated Memorial High School, wherever you are, watching, sitting at home, please take your tassel and move it from right to left. Thank you for tuning in. Congratulations, class of 2020. Have a good night.